quest. Hey everyone, today I'm visiting a river on the coast of Alaska. That's a long way from my village. I'm going to canoe along the river with Nina and help with her research. I'll record what we find in my notebook. We're collecting different rocks and fossils to help us learn about the river. It's important to respect the land, so I've gotten permission from the local tribal council to collect here. Tap the jars to choose two kinds of rocks to collect. Tap the arrow button to see more jars. Coral fossils. Choose one more jar. Leaf fossils. Canoeing is an important part of my culture. I'm so excited to share it with you. Tap to pick your canoe. Tap the check mark when you're ready. Let's canoe and look for rocks for Nina. Tap the river to steer the canoe with your paddles. You can also use the arrows on your keyboard. Ooh, look how these leaves are floating down the river. Yes, a river is a body of water that flows downhill and it's always moving. The movement is called a current and it can be fast or slow. That looks like a good spot. Collect all the rocks Nina needs. Tap the bumpy coral fossils. And the fossils shaped like leaves. Coral is an underwater animal that's found in the ocean. These fossils came from coral that lived here long ago. Cool plant fossils. The leaves made prints in the rocks, but the plants are gone now. Nice collecting. Masit Cho River. Look what you found! Coral fossils and leaf fossils. Tap or drag to put the rocks in the right jars. What do you notice is different about these rocks? Coral fossils are bumpy. The plant fossils have leaf shapes. Hmm, look at that one again. Do you see a label that matches the rock? Nice sorting. The table shows what we found. Let's read it. We found five coral fossils and five leaf fossils. That was fun! And we learned about different kinds of rocks. Let's pick two more jars and go canoeing again. Choose two more jars to fill. You can also tap the button to choose a new color for your canoe. Tap the arrow button to see more jars. Jade stones. Red rocks. Let's help Nina find more rocks. Look at how fast the water moves over there. Spots where the water moves really fast are called rapids. They happen on straight parts at the beginning of the river. Like where we are now. My elders taught me how to read the river. Thanks to them, I can figure out where I am by looking at it. Let's head over there. Collect all the rocks Nina needs. Tap the green jade stones and the red rocks. Jades are shiny and usually come in many different shades of green. The red rocks have a lot of iron in them. That's why they're this color. Terrific! Masit Cho, Tribal Council, for letting us collect here. Look what you found! Jade stones and red rocks! What do you notice is different about these rocks? Jades are shiny and usually green. The red rocks get their color from minerals like iron. Hmm, look at that one again. 
Do you see a label that matches the rock? Nice sorting. The table shows what we found. Let's read it. We found eight jade stones and three red rocks. That was fun. I wonder what rocks are in other parts of the river. Let's pick two more jars and go canoeing again. Choose two more jars to fill. Tap the arrow 